Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are playing our ABC Legacy Challenge and this is episode six. So I guess first I should probably introduce you to my Sims. So here we have Calliope, she is our heir. And if you are aware of this challenge, if you've already been watching, we don't really get to spend much time with her because she's always at work. Like nine to five, we don't really have time with her. And then this is her mother, Bailey. Oh, okay, well, I guess I should let the game play. But yeah, this is Bailey, she was our second generation generation b so like the challenge is each generation has to start with their alphabet so here's bailey and then benny i don't know what just happened because like i was pretty sure he was coming out of the pool i pressed play now he's at the couch i don't know but this is collide b's father benny and then she has her brother carson and she also has two cats which is part of the challenge so she has chester the raccoon and then caramel the kitten and her sister also used to live here her twin sister clover but she moved out because she she had a baby and that's pretty much it so where we last left off i don't quite remember but i will say a lot of time has passed by since then it's literally 2 a.m in the morning so everyone should probably go to sleep but i basically did a grave hunt and i made a graveyard for this generation so i will show you that in the morning but it's super late and we probably should clean the litter box but calliope has work tomorrow of course or today in seven hours so hopefully she'll be fine and she should get a promotion if we work hard enough okay so it looks like harson is the first one up he has school today unfortunately so he should probably get something to eat and there is something old in our fridge i just don't know what it is i mean this one has one more day left okay, so maybe he should eat oh that's old it just showed the picture so i thought it was good calliope she has two more hours before work so i'll let her sleep in a little bit and usually everyone is in on the same schedule so that is kind of bad and also she is grieving she has blues grief he's holding it together calliope is also blues grief and you know benny is doing just fine maybe i'll wake her up to use the bathroom take a shower and get something to eat but the reason why the b generation is living with us is because bailey has to finish her aspiration so she needs to have a child get married and then she needs to socialize with her child in times she needs to have four grandchildren and become good friends with four children or grandchildren so that is our plan and i was kind of thinking it would be cute if calliope and her twin sister were pregnant at the same time so i'm gonna try to plan that out and maybe she'll get pregnant at the end of the episode okay so i'm gonna send carson alone i know i know maybe you can go to grief counseling i'm pretty sure that's something we can do um yes attend grief counseling i love chester okay are you gonna finish your food you have work in 10 minutes okay so she is off to work i'm gonna have her work hard and then we're gonna be here with benny and bailey all day cram night carson has an extremely important test coming up but school has been so busy lately should he drink a ton of cola and cram i'm gonna say light activity he got a small performance gain she is back how is she doing waste of time oh well can you finish your soup and then maybe you could give yourself a pep talk over and over oh wait is the kitten age up putting on a brave face is admirable however these days carson is feeling his mask slip more and more spiraling into anger caramel aged up oh caramel is such a cutie i do want to give her an outfit so maybe i'll jump into create a sim what could you wear oh sushi oh my gosh this matches like the toddler outfit that we have from the toddler stuff pack so that's kind of nice wait i think the sweater is cute with the green eyes oh that's perfect is this cute i don't know maybe maybe not but yeah i'm gonna have her give herself some pep talk well it's down to 20 hours and i did say i would show you the graveyard so let me go do that so i put it in brunelton bay just because that is where the founder lives she actually lived over here and i did build her a new house except she's dead so now her daughter gracie is living in it with her daughter tasha and a horse and a cat so i guess we could go visit them as well i will say i am proud of the outside i'm not so sure about the inside and I guess we could hold a funeral, right? Like that would be good if we held a funeral. I haven't played with funerals yet, so like it will be fun. But here's the graveyard. I made it pink because Allie likes the color pink. Unfortunately, it is fall, so you don't really get to see it at a good time. But all of these graves are just placements. And then over here we have Jeb Harris, who is married to Allie Harris or Allie Spark, I would say, but she changed her last name because she got married. And yeah, we just have a picture of her here with a candle a beautiful flower and then we 
have like a cat or a cat and dog plant statue. And then these were her two pets. So yeah, they're not, they don't have a name because they're not in this save, I don't think. And then over here, Bailey's mom, Zoe, lives here. She also got married and he is not dead yet. He actually has five days left, so that's not too bad. He'll be joining her pretty soon. But yeah, she is a chef, so I gave her Chef Gino. And then I guess maybe Bailey could go over here. Um, I don't know. I don't I shouldn't plan this far ahead of like where she's gonna go. But like if I split it up like this, this could be Bailey and Benny and then Clypey and so-and-so, Clover and so-and-so. I probably shouldn't think that far ahead. In this crypt, we have a bunch of graves of like the townies. I went grave hunting before I built this. So yeah, we have a lot of random people in here. And then this is just like the inside. You can just look at what casket you want. But yeah, I'm just gonna go back. Oh, there's also a wishing well, so that's fun. And then I'm gonna go visit Gracie. I actually love how this house turned out because they have a horse and I felt bad and I was like I should build you a new place so that way the horse has something. Um, so this is the horse mania. Um, maybe I can hand feed you strawberries. Yum. Do you like strawberries? Oh, you can see that she's hurt. It's like she has water in her eyes. I'm so sorry. Like the tear is about to drop. I did not notice this. This is like a new animation, right? It's gonna be okay, girl. Girl. I'm so sorry. She is really going through it. Anyways, let me knock on the door. Oh, I guess this is what it looks like on the outside. I was paying too much attention to the horse and then this is what it looks like on the inside. So I like it. I think it's pretty cute. Maybe I will fill this up for them. But here is Tasha. I need to give her a makeover because she's, I don't know how old she is. She's eight out of 14 days. I'll, I'll just wait. She doesn't need a makeover. I'm not playing with her, so it's fine. They have a beautiful kitchen, a long back bathroom, the only bathroom, activity space, Gracie's bedroom, Tasha's bedroom, bonus bedroom, and then we have a horse barn and barrels. I like it. Anyways, I should probably go talk to them because if I'm grieving, I know they are. Maybe we can do a secret handshake. She was probably about to give herself a pep talk in the mirror. Reach out for help. Discuss the latest book. Oh girl, I know, I know. Maybe I can hug Tasha. Joke about fashion. Ooh, jokesters? Yes. Okay, maybe we could go home now. I'm gonna read what her grief type says to do. So it says reading, painting, practicing wellness, or instruments are good. And she loves to read, so I'm gonna have her do that. So she has her slab it in here, so I'm gonna have her read an ebook. Oh, you're just gonna read it out here? Maybe you can like sit down in the living room? I don't know if it's actually helping. Does it have to be like a physical book? Oh, it has to be a physical book. Houston is calling. I had a dream about you last night. Oh, so Grim is gonna come and get me? I think I'll be fine. Oh, Oh, Carson got below average on his exams, which is kind of weird. I feel like that's a new bug because the exams are supposed to be Friday. Yeah, it says high school exams. And also in another save, I had it pop up twice, which was weird, but I'm gonna have him use the bathroom. And tomorrow is actually Harvest Fest. I don't know if anyone is like wanting to celebrate that because you know, everyone is kind of sad about the death, but maybe I should talk to the cat. The cats need some love and attention and then on the calendar maybe on friday we could have a funeral so maybe on saturday i'll have a funeral event and we could do it for ali yeah we can't do it for two people so i guess ali is our founder so like honestly i feel like that's so far away can i not do it on friday it says cannot plan more than one of activity event. That's so dumb. I'm pretty sure it means this because it says event. Like, should I do it on a harvest? I can't even do it on harvest fest. So I guess this episode, we're not gonna host a funeral. And then we're gonna invite Blair, Benny, of course, Calliope, Carson, Houston, Gracie, Clover, Zoe, Tasha, Drew. I mean, Dina is her ex, but maybe they're still in good terms. Oh, I can only invite eight people. Okay, maybe Houston shouldn't come and maybe Zoe shouldn't come. I mean Ali doesn't even know Houston because he's not her child and I can only pick one more person so I think that should be Jeb but then Phoenix can't come. I think eight is just too low of a number so what if I don't invite my family? Just bring them along with me? So I'm not gonna invite anyone that's in my household already. So so far we have seven people and then maybe we could like light candles, moment of silence, mourn the deceased, 
serve food, give uology, and we're gonna host it in Northern Bay at the cemetery lot that I built. And I think we should host it at 11 a.m. So that is set for Saturday, and I love the icon. That is beautiful. Oh, he has to go to football practice. But I'm gonna have all of them go volunteering, and then she's off at work at 5 p.m. Oh, is she not gonna get promoted? Wait, it did not move. I'm telling you, it did not move. What? It, we were right there a second ago. I don't know if I should cheat it or not. I'm not gonna cheat so that way she gets promoted, but like I feel like she should be a lot closer. So I'm gonna put it at 50 and then, oh, my sister's here. I'm gonna give her residence keys. She was not gonna visit us, but she walked by. Oh my gosh. Well, Carson is back and we missed our sister and he also broke our toilet. Can you, I guess I'll just fix it. Anyways, girl, do you want to like talk to your boyfriend? Like maybe you guys can go out on a date and maybe I'll have it here since no one is home. Well, Carson is home, but I don't know. I just want to go on a date with him. Maybe we can be romantic, physical intimacy, woohoo, and watch TV. Okay, so it looks like Carson is enraged. I don't know where he spawned at. So he's over here here. I'm gonna call him over. Okay, he's coming. Enthused about cats. I would love if he could move in. One, two, three, four, five, six. He would be the seventh person. Oh my gosh. I need to check some things. I just need to check some things. When does Carson age up? He ages up on Tuesday. Okay. I might have to up my household limit because she cannot have a child. Unless he doesn't move in, then she could be pregnant with twins. But I don't know. I'm gonna joke about fashion, bright and day, and then maybe I can woohoo in the shower. Maybe you should change your outfit. This is not an outfit you wear for a date, but like you could wear something better than this. She has such cuter outfits. I will say, um, oh, I'm level four of the romance skill. Oh, she's generous. Honestly, I can see Bailey being generous. She is sad. I'm gonna have them go jogging together and it looks like they're gonna use this shower instead of her own shower. I don't know why you would choose that when it's the closest room to your brother. I will say I have risky woohoo at 50% so she definitely could be pregnant, but that's a chance I'm willing to take. Okay, I wanna see if she's pregnant. She's not pregnant. Okay, well, that's kind of good. I'm going to take a pregnancy test just so it doesn't show up anymore. And maybe we should talk about Woohoo with him. Share worries about Woohoo. She is tired. Oh, everyone is here. And then I am going to kiss neck. Okay, we have a full romance bar, so that's kind of nice. And then it wants us to take photos. Ooh, we're both very satisfied. Okay, that's nice. Talk about woohoo again? Or I guess not. I don't know what I just did. Honestly, they're gonna have such cute babies. So I am looking forward to that, I guess. I'm just like so curious what the child, the children are gonna look like. Oh, I love that photo. Okay, so we did that. I guess we can woohoo again. Should we? I'm definitely gonna get pregnant a second time. Oh, she is so tired. Oh, Carson is kind of stuck. He's gonna see what happens if he comes out of the room. He just thought we were, oh. I was gonna say he thought we were just playing under the covers, but no, he realized. I'm so sorry. This is why you do not use people's ensuite bathrooms. They didn't know you were in there. I'm sorry. I'm not blaming you. Maybe you should lock your doors if you don't want no one in there, you know what I mean? But maybe you can like channel surf and then they are already asleep, but maybe Ali should take a shower and then Benny probably should get something to eat and then we should probably end the date because it's almost 12 a.m. I am happy though that she gets like a day off because she always works and then they want us to flirt again oh do we have time to flirt oh we don't have time the date is gonna end well it was a silver date and we got a teddy bear thank you for our teddy bear berry okay one thing i learned in my last gameplay, um, actually in my life and death playthrough, is that I saw the throw up option in the menu. So I'm thinking she's probably not pregnant if that's the case. Maybe we should just take a pregnancy test in case. Oh wait, do you want to spend the night? Oh, I'm too sad. Are you serious? I'm too sad to ask him to stay with us. Okay. I feel like if you're sad, you should be willing to ask him. So that way, you know, you, maybe you could be happier and enjoy his company. I wonder what it's going to say. I already know. I feel like you guys also know too but we're just waiting for a reaction. Are we pregnant or not? Oh, I feel like this face tells you. Okay, she's eating for two. Okay, you probably should get something to eat and I'm just gonna let you guys know she has to have twins, but she's only having one baby. Oh, I guess I could choose the gender. <sighs> I'm gonna be so honest. I only play with feminine sims. I don't play with male sims at all. I changed the offspring and it says two female babies. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm so sorry. I'm 
so sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. I think I'm gonna do one biological male and one biological female, and then we'll see how that goes. Harson is gonna go to sleep. Bailey is sleeping. Benny, you should probably also go to sleep. I said I wanted her and her sister to be pregnant at the same time, so I'm gonna make that happen. It would be so good if she was actually just pregnant on her own. Could you imagine? So I'm gonna start her pregnancy with Penny Pizzazz, obviously, and I'm gonna leave it blank so that way it is random. So she's having another female baby, which is nice. So we're pregnant at the same time. That's so cool. I would love to get them pictures together. It's just like, I haven't found like an actual like pregnancy pose with two pregnant sims yet. I, I was looking for one. Okay, so she woke up for whatever reason. Oh, she was literally thinking about Barry. I guess you can use the bathroom and then go back to sleep. Oh my gosh, what happened to Chester? Where did he go? He didn't leave. It doesn't say anything about that. So I'm assuming he has like a trait that makes him just go somewhere. He's a free spirit. Is that what it is? These guys enjoy wandering around the world. Okay, so that makes sense. She's thinking about Calliope. That is so sweet. And he's thinking about Clover. That is so nice. We should like, I feel like we need to do a family reunion. So maybe next Saturday. Like, is this like too far ahead to plan something? Maybe. But I think it would be nice if like a week in advance they decided like, hey, we're gonna do like a family reunion on this day. It says we can pick 15 maximum sims. I'm gonna have to meet his mother. I feel like I know her though, but maybe I just don't know her that well. So maybe I can like invite her over and take care of the garden. We can evolve some things. We can spray for bugs. We can sell all. And then Carson is very angry. It's still not fair. Who can Carson yell at to fix all these existential problems? Why me? Every morning is a reminder of how unfair life can be. How could things be going so bad for Carson? This world is so cruel and unforgiving. I know, I know. I'm so sorry. Maybe you should use the bathroom and then I'll have Benny come pick this up. Josephine is an elder. She has one day left so she can't even be invited to the family reunion if we wanted to invite her. So honestly it does not matter. We don't need to meet her. She's in the house so I could talk to her if I wanted to. Maybe you should wake up and maybe you can talk to your grandma, ask for advice. Maybe we can take a picture with her. Maybe you can change out of your pajamas for this photo. She's so beautiful right? They look like Christmas together. And then maybe I could just like get a photo of just her. Ooh, she knows how to pose. We have plenty of photos of grandma. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna have her get leftovers and we should probably appease the gnomes. Okay, well they disappeared on us. So I'm gonna assume this one likes coffee and then Carson. Maybe this one likes a toy? I'm not really sure. And then there should be a third one. Don't see a third one, but there should be one. Also, let's decorate. Beautiful. Oh, they did like a toy and they did not like coffee. Maybe I can like beg for forgiveness? Like it's not my fault I don't know what you want. Did they not forgive you? Oh they did. That's nice. Now I'm gonna sell them. I'm not in the mood to like celebrate Harvest Fest if I'm being quite honest with you. Okay also it didn't tick off that I decorated so maybe if I like go in and out of build mode that will work. At least that's what I'm hoping. Oh she also got a couch. Too bad we don't have anywhere to use it. She also got like a nice little teddy bear. So I'll just replace the one we had with this one because Barry gave it to us. And I guess we could do some extra decorating for Harvest Fest. Oh, we could put this pumpkin up there. Or maybe I'm just gonna filter to seasons because that will make it easier if I can find seasons. Maybe I'll just put this and then maybe we can be thankful with our family. Oh, I can ask her to accompany childbirth. That is so nice. Okay. Also, I think I am going to like at least with MC Command Center, I am going to up the household size. So right Right now it's eight. I'm going to let it be nine so that way I can move Barry in and that does require a restart so I won't move him in until after the episode or until the next episode at least. She's thinking about Barry again. Oh my gosh girl you just can't get him out of your mind can you? I mean he has to do something to break her heart. He doesn't have to but like maybe they're just maybe they mutually agree that they shouldn't have rushed to get married because they were pregnant. Oh actually that is the thing we do have to get married before she gives birth. I have to keep that in mind. So I'm gonna be thankful. And I do have the childbirth mod so that makes things a lot more better. So I think I may actually have her do a home birth because I don't know that could be fun and interesting. And also you can like get an ultrasound from the hospital as well. So like she can have like a hospital visit to do that. So maybe I'll do that as well. She's still in the first trimester. And then you're gonna be thankful to your dad. Also I kind of wanted to edit the rules. I didn't do that yet. I don't know to edit the 
rules it would just be a lot because i have to like edit the graphic and on twitter like i already posted all the graphics so you can't like edit it but i don't think her generation is all that hard like in a way she works all the time as i said before so i feel like that makes it hard but i don't think it's that challenging so i feel like she needs to have a hard mode so i was thinking like maybe she could write three games or five games maybe she could do some comedy routines maybe she has to write five excellent or masterpiece comedy routines i never done it before so i don't know what's the highest quality it could be but yeah i could have her do that so maybe i can have her compose a short comedy routine oh does she have to use the bathroom honestly this friday tomorrow actually isn't there a talent showcase so maybe i can like do that like maybe she has to show up to three talent showcases and win i don't know i don't want to think too hard about the challenge because i haven't edited it yet so i don't know if that's like the final thing i want to do i'm just kind of making it up on the spot and then you could probably use the bathroom carson is boxing or training she is viewing fish and he is cleaning the desk or he's going to oh chester is back are you doing okay maybe i can pet you maybe i'll get to know and i'll brush you okay calabi has just finished writing the huni soap comedy routine i assume something would like show up in my inventory i guess not so like if i come over here i should be able to like practice a comedy routine carson is going through a phase carson is feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while oh his grief type is really just not doing him any good so now he's distant and he has an anger grief okay she really wants to go practice football with carson i don't understand what's the hurry what's the rush i think i am going to invite over barry so i can tell him we're pregnant or tell him i'm pregnant ask about college parties Ooh, that's kind of fun maybe he could sneak out clover is calling us hannah aged up oh and i earned money on my day off some connections of mine heard of a party going down with some college students this could be our chance to show the world how cool we are so they're playing soccer right now i'm talking to my sister i'm just gonna go here and then i'm going to ask barry about his career i'm just i don't think he should get caught because he's just like i'm gonna go check the mailbox real quick mom and hopefully his sister does not decide to tell because i mean you're not my mother calliope i can go to a party if i want to okay see that was so easy let's announce our pregnancy so i have the childbirth mod so i can share the pregnancy news by showing him the results dad can you like stop talking to us i have to tell him something she's hiding it behind her back can you guess what it is i'm pregnant he <laughs> Do you see the two lines? I think it'd be really cute if her and her sister could go to like a doctor's appointment together, but that's not the case. You can't do that. And then maybe they have like a deep conversation. Benny, can you get out of our business? Like he's really all up in our Kool-Aid. Go away. Like we're trying to have a moment. Could you imagine your father just doing this to you? Like have some respect. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Deep conversation. And I think I can only have like one person accompany at birth. So I'm going to ask him to accompany us. I love the animations of this mod it's like so cute that's so beautiful so it looks like they agree that they should get married pretty soon she's in her second trimester in seven hours so that's pretty late and he said he will accompany us but at the moment i'm kind of also thinking they should get married now so maybe we'll travel to tartosa and we'll elope because also with the mod that i have you can have like early birth and birth emergencies so we don't want that to happen so we should probably get married at this moment i would also love to get photos as well i'm just gonna change into my outfit and then i'm just gonna like have him change into his formal wear yeah that's a pretty good outfit actually so this is how she looks so cute over here is where we get married or eloped oh i'm so crazy like we're not even engaged yet i don't know what i thought i was doing oh my gosh he's not even our romantic partner oh i did not know that i must have been trying to take it so slow but now we're going so fast so now she's gonna propose i don't know why you're proposing to him i don't know why you guys are getting married everyone knows the baby is out of wedlock you know what i like to think that you know she hasn't told anyone that she was pregnant yet so that's why they're rushing to to, I guess she can be loyal. I don't mind. But I guess that's why they're rushing to get eloped because she hasn't like told anyone that she's pregnant and she doesn't want them to know that they had the baby out of wedlock. Um, so that's just her thought process. It closes at six. We can't elope. Okay, fine. We can elope at this lot. Like over here, we could elope. Elope immediately. This is so cute. I mean, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. I'm so sorry if I stop it. 
Just don't mind me. Oh, okay. I love like there's no officiant for this. They're just doing it by themselves. This is so beautiful. She looks so beautiful. I'm just saying. And she's so tired. She's pregnant, okay? It's understandable. Look at that ring. Oh, they went straight in for a kiss. Well, he didn't give her a ring, so I'm a little confused. That is nice. Sorry, you cannot move in with us. Okay, so here's our marriage certificate. I am gonna take a photo with him. So beautiful. I might have to put like the brightness filter on. You can't really see her because of her hair. Just gorgeous. And then we're gonna take more serious photos. M5 is so cute. I don't know if her belly is big enough, but we can try it. This is so beautiful. Oh yeah, her belly's not big enough, if you cannot tell. They're so cute together. Okay, so I think we are done. And then we're just gonna go home, honestly. Like, bye, Barry. I'm tired. I hate that they walk so far to go home. I am married. That should have checked everything off for her. It did. Okay, so that's good. So she's friends with all of her children. I am kind of tired of them living with us, to be honest, because, like, I feel like they're just there, you know? I don't really have any plans to play with them. She does have work tomorrow, so I'm gonna have her go to sleep. I probably, I want to call off, but maybe I'll have her just wake up super early so that way she can, like, go to her doctor's appointment. So maybe I'll have her wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning to do that. I think this is where I'll leave the episode off. Um, I think in the next episode we'll have our twin babies. Clover will have her baby and we'll probably go visit them. And off camera, I'm gonna plan to like give Tasha and Hannah a makeover. But yeah, I'm super excited for next episode because we're finally having the babies. Like in the seventh part, we're giving birth. I don't know if that's like too late, but if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, comment and subscribe. I love you. You are important and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!